Hi, Keshav. First of all, thank you so much for being here on my channel today. I believe your interview experience will help the candidates a lot, those who are preparing for the Java developer interview. So you can start with your introduction. Uh, yeah, so thank you, Soumya, for giving me this opportunity to share my experience over with the other candidates. So uh, definitely it will be helping out the others. Yeah, so hello, my name is Keshav Gupta and like I'm having a total four year of experience as a Java developer and like uh, so uh, I have been uh, like uh, started my uh, graduation from the like uh, I have done the BTEC uh, from computer science engineering from MS engineering college for Java. and uh, after that I have when it comes to my career journey I have started my journey from Capgemini as a fresher so there I got the opportunity to work as a Java developer and uh, after that uh, like spending around one and a half year in Capgemini I uh, switch uh, my career path to the Guardian Life. So it's like a product-based MNC of America, which is like majorly focused upon BFSI domain, like providing insurance and claims to the end user. So there I like uh, got to know about a lot of things like uh, how the product-based uh, MNC work culture is that, like uh, what are the various and uh, technologies they have been working upon and uh, other like uh, the other learning and uh, upskilling opportunities they have been providing. So these all things like uh, I get to know and uh, also uh, like the other uh, things uh, like I have been spending like in my projects and uh, got to know like uh, the different peoples. So mm -hmm. uh, I would say like a very good time I have spent there. And uh, so like around uh, I have spent uh, around two, uh, two and a half years in Guardian Life. After that, like I, um, I decided to switch to an, my next uh, career, career opportunity. So I tried to explore some more opportunities there and uh, like uh, got to give like a uh, given the multiple interviews along with that like uh, i got offers from the ey uh, global global logic mm -hmm. uh, deloitte usi insido and other companies so okay. like uh, among all these like i decided to join uh, like i recently joined the global logic as my next mm -hmm. journey yeah this is okay. all about me got it got it so congratulations keshav as you have recently uh, joined global logic itself so um, well, today in this video, we'll be majorly focusing on your EY interview experience. So those who are preparing for EY can get to know about how their complete process is. So can you just tell me how did you get this opportunity, first of all? Yeah, so for the EY, like, uh, um, I've been applying over the Nokri and the LinkedIn portal, like for the job purpose. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, I got the call from the EY recruiter, like uh, they have been uh, providing the opportunity for the Java plus AWS developer. So mm -hmm. they are like uh, majorly uh, finding out of the candidates who is having the good experience in the Java uh, Spring Boot microservices along with the uh, mm -hmm. good knowledge of the AWS. So that's how like I met this opportunity. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So like what was the complete interview process after that and like how many rounds you went through and what were the questions you were asked? So if you can just let us know in brief, so that would be helpful. Yeah, sure. Uh, so like uh, the complete interview process uh, for the EY, I would say it's uh, com uh, consisting of the total four rounds. Mm -hmm. So the first will be the online assessment, which is based upon the IMOCA fluid form and mm -hmm. uh, proceeding with the other two technical rounds and the final will be the client round and uh, the further then the HR discussion will be happened. So when it comes to the online assessment, so it's like uh, uh, you are having uh, the seven section in that online assessment, which is like uh, related to the different questions for uh, Java, Spring Core, Spring Boot, uh, microservices, SQL queries and AWS. And mm -hmm. uh, the there are the two like uh, medium level questions, medium level coding questions as well. Mm -hmm. So that you have to done. And uh, in that online assessment, like uh, you need to secure around uh, sixty five percent over there. Mm -hmm. If your score is below than that, then it would be like a kind of elimination in that round. So it's kind of like a screening round, you can say. Mm -hmm. So uh, I uh, like got the result on the same day that uh, I have cleared that round. And mm -hmm. after that, uh, my first technical round was scheduled uh, after two days. So uh, like uh, this round is majorly focused upon uh, uh, like uh, my knowledge related to the Java and other technologies related to the uh, Java backend. And uh, like, uh, so there were the questions they have asked related to the Java Spring Boot and uh, mm -hmm. some of the SQL queries and AWS and uh, microservices related questions as well. And uh, also they have asked me to uh, coding questions uh, along with that. 
so they have been like a majorly uh, try to uh, find out whether you are aware of the java it features or not so yeah. they asked me to solve that problem with a uh, java it implementation mm -hmm. and um, so for that uh, i have cleared that first round and then the for the second technical round uh, so like uh, 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 it is quite uh, i would say uh, quite similar to the first technical round but uh, mm -hmm. along with that uh, here is your twist like uh, um, you have uh, like uh, along with the theoretical questions, so there will mm -hmm. be the scenario based questions as well. So they have been asking like uh, want to check your logical thinking, like how can you like uh, provide any reliable solution for any of an mm -hmm. approach, like uh, for any given problem statement. So that's uh, basically they want to find out. And um, mm -hmm. along with that, uh, there have been uh, like uh, uh, coding questions uh, uh, in the technical round. So they have been asking. Then uh, once I got like uh, cleared that round, then the final will be the client round was happened. So mm -hmm. in the client round, this uh, is kind of like a uh, majorly focused upon uh, like uh, your interview, no like uh, the project knowledge, like uh, the last project which you have bugged upon, and mm -hmm. uh, along with that uh, the tech stacks which have which you have used, your roles and responsibilities, and uh, some of the like uh, what about the ad hoc task you have done uh, mm -hmm. within your team. So these all okay. things uh, were charged within the client round. So okay. yeah, overall, like uh, or, yeah, once all these client uh, like all these rounds have been completed, then I got the call from HR. Like uh, I've been selected, and uh, they mm -hmm. have uh, like processed the offer within a one week. So overall, I would say a two week uh, time they have taken in the complete process. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kesha, for explaining all yeah. the things so well. Uh, well, like, as you have mentioned that you have been exploring opportunities, so you must have appeared for multiple interviews as you were holding multiple mm -hmm. offers as well. So what do you think, I mean, during that process, what were that key topics that you believe one must prepare when they were, when they are looking for the Java developer opportunities, especially for the senior roles? Okay. Yeah, so like uh, I would say uh, when you are um, exploring the opportunities in the uh, market, so there are like uh, uh, lots of uh, interview materials available on the internet. So mm -hmm. you can uh, prepare through through that and practicing the more questions over there. And uh, when it comes to especially for the senior roles, so mm -hmm. uh, I would say like for the senior roles, like uh, interviewer is majorly focused on um, uh, like a uh, uh, I would say like expecting more uh, from you, like other than that, uh, the coding stuff, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, your roles and responsibilities, what are the ad hoc tasks you can handle? And uh, uh, like, uh, I would say like, uh, what are the reliable uh, solution you can provide to any uh, given problem? So these all things they have been exploring uh, and wanting uh, from a candidate. And uh, like, uh, so uh, for the uh, senior uh, and uh, other than that, uh, like uh, they are checking your, um, uh, like uh, the basic uh, knowledge as well, like along with the coding questions. So these all stuffs uh, you are like providing. And uh, while I was giving the interviews, uh, so like for my preparation, I'm like uh, writing down the questions uh, which I was unable to give in so that I can prepare them well for the, my next interviews. So these all things I have done uh, for while preparing for the senior roles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, like, as you have mentioned, Keshav, that um, you have got the calls through Nokri, right? So mm -hmm. I get those messages from the like experienced folks, even that they are applying through the Nokri portal, but somehow they are not listening back through the recruiter. So is there anything specific that you would like to share? I mean, any mm -hmm. technique that actually worked for you that you were able to get these many calls from the recruiter? Uh, yeah, so like uh, I can say, um... First of all, uh, make your resume like uh, uh, well prepared, like uh, whatever the knowledge you are having, the technical skills and other than that, your roles and responsibilities, projects. Mm -hmm. So all these things uh, that should be maintained on your, uh, like mentioned on your uh, resume. And mm -hmm. uh, I would say like, it should not be more than uh, two pages. So right. like the first thing you have to done uh, with your resume properly, and it should be kind of like a ATS friendly. So I can say like, a, that is an application tracking system which uh, everyone using in their companies in order to mm -hmm. like screening your resumes. So that's the first thing you need to take care of that. And um, 
keep your nokri profile updated like uh, provide uh, the reliable like uh, the skill set so kiss your skill set in that section like uh, how uh, how many years of experience you are having in that skill set and uh, your introduction should be like a catchy so in a first glance uh, the interviewer can be able to make it like whether this candidate is suitable for our uh, job requirement or not so these all things you need to take care and uh, keep your profile updated on the daily basis so yeah mm -hmm. these all practices i have been taking care of got it got it uh, so uh, keshav i i believe that like as you have started your career with cap gemini so even you must have seen that scenario that uh many of the people over there are uh, are on bench mm -hmm. right so they don't even get a chance to get that work experience sometimes the candidates are on bench for more than one year yeah. even so like yeah, when they are looking for opportunities they are appearing for an interviews i mean they cannot exactly mention that they were on bench right so in that situation mm -hmm. how they can justify uh, their experience uh so i would suggest like uh, for such kind of scenarios when you are like uh, not actively working on any of the project so don't just like uh, sit idle like uh, try to um, learn some new things do some online courses or try to build some many projects on your own so that you will be like uh, kind of uh, getting updated within the current market like uh, what are the technologies are coming up and what are the current market situation and uh, the projects which you are working upon so these all things you will be getting on your own so keep update yourself with with these things so uh, because uh, i would say like uh, the confidence is the key which uh, every hmm. interviewer is looking for in a candidate so if you are appearing for any interviews and, uh, and your confidence uh, level is not uh, that up to the mark then that would be same like reflecting in your interviews as well and kind of like uh, creating a negative impression on the interviewer so for that purpose like uh, you just uh, keep learning the things keep growing so all these things you need to take care uh, i would say, uh, say like uh, even if you are on a bench yeah but you have the opportunity to learn by yourself right so these right, all things right. you can take care of yeah hmm. rightly said uh, keshav i do agree on that part like when you are uh, on bench so you can utilize that time on self learning even though right. you are not getting the industry level exposure but you don't have any other thing right i mean you don't have any other option right, yeah. so at least explore by yourself uh, so that uh, most of the times even you can mention the your personal projects like if you have built something so mm -hmm. this will perhaps can create an impression to the interviewer that you have actually worked on it even you haven't so you don't need to be um i mean honest all the time or you need you don't right. need to specify that you were on bench well there is that uh, curious question that i wanted to ask like, so why did you chose global logic over the other offers like you were having offers from ey deloitte and other companies so why you have opted for global logic or basically i just wanted to know if someone is having multiple offers so what are those parameters that one should look for okay yeah that's a good question <laughs> so like i would say uh for the uh, like the multiple offers in between that uh, i have gone through like uh, over the glass tour and uh, uh, the linkedin like connected with the people on the linkedin to get the reviews about the organization mm -hmm. uh, their work culture the tech stacks which they are using and uh, what are the like learning opportunities we can get over there so mm -hmm. from my personal experience like uh, i found out like uh, global logic is a best fit for me at that time uh, so i go with that uh, offer so i like decided to go go with the global logic offer so that's why i have joined there so i can say like it's uh, totally up to the candidates uh, decision like uh, they can um, like uh, try to find out explore uh, the things about that organization before joining over there so they can be able to like ensure whether it's a good fit for their career opportunity or not like for the career growth so mm -hmm. that's why like uh, how you can make a decision when you are like trying to join any new company yeah okay okay so a great point that here you have specified so most of the times what happen that you are just relying on the ctc and whichever company is offering the more you just join that well obviously ctc yeah, matter mostly. but work life balance also does matter so sometimes even i have heard that people joined a certain company just for the sake of ctc and later they came to know that work culture is very toxic and it's very difficult to survive there so as the approach that you have followed you can check the glass door reviews that you can check with the right. people who have worked there or are currently working there because work culture also matters then again the tech stack the opportunities that you will get mm -hmm. these also matter so along with that these parameters should be checked um well keshav 
so i think these were the questions that i was having to discuss with you thank you so much for explaining them i believe that the people going to this podcast will get a lot of help while preparing for their interviews but before wrapping up i just wanted to know if there is any advice that you would like to give uh, to the candidates preparing for java developer roles any mistake that you did or anything that you feel um, should be shared please mm -hmm. do uh yeah so uh, like uh, when you are uh, preparing for the interviews and all so just like uh, uh, keep uh, like uh, update uh, keep yourself updated with the uh, like the questions so i have uh, gone through the multiple questions and practicing the coding questions as well so like uh, to get to know about uh, more of the uh, like the solutions which i get and uh, along with that uh, make a connection over the linkedin with the people so you will get to know more about their uh, interview experience so you will get to know like uh, various things what how was their interview like what are the overall process they have been mm -hmm. going through and uh, these all things and uh, like uh, so uh, other things like uh, keep your basics clean uh, clear mm -hmm. right uh, along with the java and uh, like uh, the other uh, technologies which is related to java spring boot microservices so these all and uh, i would say like uh, there are because uh, as you can see the market uh, is like more competitive than the previous mm -hmm. uh, years right so there are the various tools and frameworks comes out in the market so you should be aware of these uh, tools and frameworks and having like good hands on over there because the multiple things uh, uh, like you will be bringing on the table then you will be kind of like a best fit for that organization so these right. are I, I would say like a like mm -hmm. a different parameters the interviewer is uh, judging you uh, for any specific opportunities so these all uh, things you can be taking care of while like uh, giving the interviews and all like uh, exploring any new opportunities so uh, yeah these got all it, things i would suggest yeah got it uh, yeah i believe yeah. you have mentioned all the points correct i mean they are the great points and the one that you have specified is to keep yourself yeah. updated because i also agree on this part that you have mentioned that now com competition has been more and uh, companies right. are looking for more and more skills uh, from the candidates so it's very very important to keep yourself updated to keep learning the things uh, seeing the competition as of now and the market scenario as well i mean there are not that right. many opportunities as they used to be so thanks for mentioning that and it was a great conversation with you thank you so much again for being here on my channel thank you yeah thank you somya